Mm-hmm. Hard to find good help around here. Mm-hmm. Don't know, it's three days later. Hey there, I'm John. And I'm Katie, and welcome to Pizza with Plants. What are we doing? Today, we are making a very simple pasta that happens to be plant-based <sighs> and that you can make at home too. Homemade, so homemade pasta. Don't turn off, it's not, it does take a little practice, but it is so worth it because you shared what do you, it, you, then you know what's in it. Right. You know right. you're making it. Right. So you know it's fresh ingredients, there's no preservatives, there's no like nasty stuff, as long as you have good water and a really good double zero finely milled flour, that's all you need. And that's all that's really the only struggle. And some is, elbow grease. Is, yeah, you're gonna it's gonna take some time, but you're the finding the double zero flour is really important. You're gonna want something that's very fine milled, which is what the double zero is. It's but, like pizza flour. Yeah. So you can yeah, I mean yeah. all the stores have it. So they, it's not gonna be a fair. problem to that's find fair. it. It's yes. just don't it's yes. not all purpose, it's not self rising. It's not bread. Because you flour. don't want like fat pasta, you want like Right, but this is a pasta dough <clears throat> that you can literally make a ton of shapes with. Yep. yep. So it, uh, yeah. You want me to share the fun fact about World War II? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So all throughout World War II, when they couldn't get eggs, that's why they made the pasta this way. And across Italy, they shape it into. Mm -hmm. I should name off the little thing. All kinds of little shapes. Um, yeah. Orchetti. <laughs> Stosopretti, we're going to be making that. I mean, there's a yeah. ton of pastas out there that have zero egg. A lot of people think that pasta has to have egg, and in a lot of places in Italy, they don't add egg to their pasta. It's just for color. It's yeah. a binder, but it's also mainly for color, and we don't. Yeah. So we aren't going to have bright yellow pasta. It's like fancy pasta. But we don't. Fancy. We don't need fancy. Nah, I'm not worth fancy. Nah. Well, you are, but we, you know, we kind of skirt on white trash too. I'm kidding, I'm teasing. <laughs> you with your squeezy cheese and uh, uh, yes, chicken I, and a biscuit okay, cheese party. Okay, whatever. I grew up on Velveeta. Okay, this intro has been like 10 minutes and okay, you probably stopped watching. We're going to go make some pasta. Let's make pasta. <laughs> See ya. So let's make some egg-free plant-based pasta dough. So I've got a blend, a 50-50 blend of semolina and double zero flour. Got some warm water. I'm just going to get my flour out on the work surface and I'm going to create a mound and then slowly uh, make a well in the center of it, making sure that the walls are nice and firm. And then once you've got that good, grab your water and a fork and you're also going to want a dough scraper nearby as well. But then just slowly pour the water in and just stirring the flour in the water so it gets kind of mixed up and gets thicker than just plain old water. And then you're going to slowly add more water, stir in more flour. It's just kind of a process. You undoubtedly will break the wall and the water is going to go everywhere. You can see it happen to me as well, but that's where the dough scraper really comes in handy because you can kind of scoop it all up. So once all the water is incorporated, just get it into your hands and start slowly working the dough. I know it looks like a scraggly mess, but I promise you this is all going to come together. So next is where the magic happens with making pasta dough. You've got to knead it. And it's going to take about 10 minutes of kneading, but I promise you, by the time you are done, you are going to get a nice, smooth ball of dough that is going to make some phenomenal pasta. So just take your time, knead it out. As I said, set a timer for 8 to 10 minutes, and you should be good. It's been 10 minutes and this dough looks perfect. Just gonna form it into a nice little ball, put it into a bowl, throw some saran wrap on it, let it rest for 30 minutes, and then you are good to make any type of pasta you want. It worked. It totally did. That was I am so, I was really nervous and <laughs> she was nervous because I, thought I was going to make a mess and it did kind of break out there for a little bit but, but not bad. it's a learning curve not bad and but it's if like, like you know rested for 30 minutes and it's good to go millions of 80 plus year old women in, in Italy can do this you can do it we can do this too 
Yeah. So, um, so here it's your your vegan, your egg free dough, and we're gonna make uh, we're gonna we're gonna make some strozza fretti out of it in an mm -hmm. upcoming video. But you could literally make this into any shape you want. We've got a roller. Yep, we have a, a roller that we've had for a long time. We're gonna test out a mo the motor. Yeah, we had to get a special plug in because we didn't realize the motor came Italian style. Right, with the <laughs> European like, plug. Uh, so anyway, um, now we're set up. Yes, but that's next. But it has kind of a yellow tinge because we did that blend of semolina and double zero. And what did you do? Did uh, you 50-50? I did 50-50. Okay. And so I had, in a previous test, I did all semolina. And I will tell you what, doing the blend with the double zero and the semolina was much easier to work with. So that's, that's what we have in the recipe down below. So I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this. Go out and make some pasta. Be kind. Eat pizza. With plants. And vegan pasta. And pasta. Life would not be complete oh without pasta. I, All right. I would just drive off a cliff. Okay, don't say that. Okay. See ya. Bye.